بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه ثم أما بعد عن أبي هريرة عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله تعالى طيب لا يقبل إلا طيبا وإن الله أمر المؤمنين بما أمر به المرسلين فقال يا أيها الناس كلوا من الطيبات يا أيها الذين آمنوا كلوا من الطيبات واعملوا صالحا إني بما تعملون عليم ثم ذكر الرجل يطيل السفر أشعث أغبر يمد يديه إلى السماء يا رب يا رب ومطعمه حرام ومشربه حرام وملبسه حرام وغذي بالحرام فأنا يستجاب له This hadith precisely talking about halal sustenance and dua and the relationship between both. <coughs> he gave us an example, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with a traveler. But he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told us in the beginning a quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is tayyib. If you're talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the word tayyib means free of defect, perfect. يعني منزه عن كل نقص وكل عيب. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you talk about a human being, then he is free of any defect in his character. And if you talk about food, then it is halal food. That is what tayyib means. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah is tayyib. He is free of defect. He is perfect in his names and attributes and doesn't accept anything but tayyib, halal and perfect and good. That matches that. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Samayat, al-tayyibat with tayyibin. Good people always hang with one another. Bad people hang together and good people hang together. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tayyib only accepts tayyib. Then he told us that this is not just for us believers. Even the prophets were commanded to do the same thing. Allah commanded the prophets with the same thing that he commanded the believers, which is to deal with tayyib, to eat tayyib, and all of that. Then he recited an ayah. Ya ayyuha ladina amanu kulu min al-tayyibat wa'amalu saliha inni bima ta'amaluna alim. Ya ayyuha al-rasul. Ya ayyuha al-rasul. Jazakallahu khair. All you messengers, just to prove to us that he commanded the messengers like he commanded us believers. All messengers, eat from that which is halal and do righteous. What is a righteous deed? What's the definition of a righteous deed? It's a deed that is done sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and according to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is amal salih. So eat from the halal and do righteous deed. Inni bima ta'maloon ali. I see and I observe what you're doing. Here is the catch. Thumma dhakar al-rajul. Then he gave us an example of a man. What is he doing? Traveler. Traveling where? To Hajj, to Umrah, to seeking knowledge, to anything. Yani, he is in a journey for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or let's put it this way, righteous journey. Because when you say for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you need to see what comes after that. How is his state? Ash'ath His hair is messed up, his clothes is raggedy, 
it's basically, uh, he's a traveler and he is poor. And his situation is not that good. Ash'at Arba. Yamuddu yadayhi sama he's raising his hand. A quality of a traveler, the Prophet ﷺ told us, his dua is accepted. A quality of a person who raises his hand when he makes dua, his hand will not come down empty, meaning his dua is accepted. Here is the problem. He is traveling and his dua is accepted. He is poor the way he looks and his dua is accepted. And he is raising his hand and his dua is accepted. And he's making dua and the dua is accepted. But he has some defects. Mat'amuhu haram. His food is from haram, the haram earning. And his clothes, malbasuhu haram, from haram earning. Wahudhiya bil haram. Yani his, his whole body grew up from haram sustenance. Fa'anna yustajabuna. How is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to accept his dua? Yeah, how can you be living a haram way and insisting in doing a haram way and your sustenance is haram and you carry yourself and you go to hajj with haram and you do, you do service, services and worships to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from haram sustenance and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only accepts the halal and he is pure. How can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take from that? And we ask questions about ourselves. When our sustenance could be haram, and we could be abstaining from enjoying good and forbidding evil, and we can be uh, involved in severe relationship between us and our kinships, and then we raise our hands and we say, how come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't answer? This hadith clearly tells you, you need to be upright, you need to have good relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those things to be accepted. That's why Umar ibn al-Khattab, or actually Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, for the uh, people who deal with trade, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya ma'ashara tujjar, shawibu tijaratakum bis sadaqat, aw amwalakum, shawibu amwalakum bis sadaqat. All people who are tradesmen, uh, make sure you give a lot of charity. Why? Because usually when you involve in that, sometimes you swear a lot and you may lie. You may not deal with people good. You may involve yourself sometimes. It doesn't matter, matter how much you try in haram thing. So make sure you give a lot of charity to make up for the defects that you are not intentionally doing. And we say, brothers and sisters, that there's a sister, her name is Khadija. I know her and I know her husband, Sabur, for a long time. They had Khadija house that takes care of people. And she did an event for orphans, uh, widows, and divorcees, and refugees gathered them and knowledge and hit together and support and everything and uh, one lady came she has 11 children and she is divorced so she deals with people and support them some of the organizations when she did the event promised her support some did some did not so she is short on four or five thousand dollars to make up for the defect or the deficit that she had. And she requested me from for the past month. I've been asking the brother that with the generosity of this masjid, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you, inshallah, we can support her. As I said, she's dealing with people who are desperately in need, orphans and divorced and widows and poor people and refugees. Uh, we need Yani about 5,000. Can we have a brother, inshallah, who's willing to help her with 1,000? 1,000. Can we have one brother? Allah yatik ya rab hatta yardi. Jazakallahu khayran wa barakallahu feed. Can we have a second brother? Second brother, inshallah, $1,000. One more. 
One more thousand, Barakallah, Allah Ratif, Ya Rabbu Barik Fiku Yiftah Alayk, insha'Allah, Jazakallah Khair. Can we have a third one? This is applicable, brother, from your Fatah Allah Alayk, Jazakallah Khair. This is yani, from your Zakah money, insha'Allah, it, it's good for that. We got three. Can we have one more, insha'Allah? Four people. Or let's make it easy so we share. Five hundred. Five hundred, insha'Allah. One thousand. Allah iftah alayk, Ya Rabbi, wazidak baraki, wazidak khair. Ameen, Ya Rabbi al-Alamin. We got 4,000. Can we have 500? One brother, 500. Fatah Allah alaykum, barak Allah alaykum, wa jazakum Allah khaira. One 500. I will make it easy. Four, 250. Now? It's 500. 500, Allah iftah alayk. I guess we can match it. Can we have another one? Another one, 500. One 500. Five. 250. How much is the ticket nowadays? The ticket, the traffic. <laughs> Anything less than 250? May Allah protect you. Can we have one 250? Allahumma <laughs> barik feek. It's two. Jazakum Allahu khairan. We got the 5,000. Let's give her a bonus in case she wants to give them some food or something like that, inshallah. Can we have four more, inshallah? Or rather, just two more. Two more 250. Or let's make it easier. Ten people for 100, inshallah, we close. 100, 200, 300, 400, mashallah. 500. Brother, you don't have that. Oh, mashallah, 500. 600, fatahallahu alayk. Four more, brothers. 700, 800, mashallah. Two more. 900, Allahumma barik. Last one. Last 100, Allahumma atik hatta yardi. Jazakumullah khairan, barakallah fikim. She's going to be ecstatic. Honestly, yani I told her, if you have hope, MIC will do it. Because she tried some other places, she's not feeling anything. And I said, alhamdulillah, this masjid always supported and always took care of that. Jazakumullah khairan. Please, brother, jazakumullah khairan. If you pay him, the brother, so I can give him. She chased by the bank, she had hot check. Many out of second hundred, second thousand. David, how are you? You guys ready? Hey, you can do that. You're gonna keep making me. What's that, my I can tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, scan that. Yeah, yeah, and we'll make. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just did it. Can you see if I did it? You did it in already? Yeah, I just did it. Uh, by camera or how? Did you scan this one? Nah, I already had it. Like on my. Oh, you want your house? Yeah, it's definitely my phone, yes.